TGC Requiem, we are back with Shadow Fairy, Shadow Fae. Uh, we have won the die roll. Opponent, P. Chris. Um, this is fine. Uh, this, is, this is a little bit more of an aggressive hand. Um, one fetch. Aggressive with some interaction. I like it. We are going to probably lead on Bauble just to see what our opponent's on, to see if we think we want to be a Bitter Blossom or a Tarmogoyf player. Um, eh, I suppose not. Either way our opponent goes, we're pretty okay. We're not cracking. Yeah, we're good. We're gonna go with that. And then we are gonna hit him during his upkeep just in case he is a hand disruption sort of guy, gal, person. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got all these nice tier one, two, three decks. Um, Storm, Dredge, Burn, Grishelbrand. And now we get Panza, Red Green Land Destruction. So on the plus side, Tarmogoyf's really solid in this sort of matchup. We're going to be a lot more likely. Uh, I don't know. Are we going to fetch for basics? I'm trying to remember if Panza decks. I can't remember if what do they run they can destroy any land but they only do damage to you if oh I can't remember they do Blood Moon, though. That's another thing to be concerned about. But at this point, we're just going to... He didn't have a, a turn one land that's really going to necessitate us being threatened by Blood Moon. I actually meant to let that come in tapped, but I was distracted with my thoughts. I think, what, isn't it Molten Rain? Yeah, Molten Rain. Destroy target land if that land is non basic, then it does damage. So he can still destroy our basics. Um, so now I look smart because I did the shock, which which makes the uh, death shadow even better. Uh, I actually think we want to just run out Bitter Blossom here. Tarmogoyf next turn, but Bitter Blossom actually we could just get wide enough to kill him before he can do anything. So if he had Utopia, Utopia Sprawl on his first turn, we would have been really concerned about a Blood Moon. Um, but now we're less concerned. Hopefully we draw a land here. If we can kill that Arbor Elf and get a Tarmogoyf down, that would be fantastic. So right now he can do one, two, three, four, five mana. If he has another land, he could be, he could actually be running out into freaking uh, Infernal Titan next turn. So I think we're just gonna have to fatal push here. Sad as that is. Slow him down a bit. Sets him back to three mana versus five. Still may be able to blow up our green source, which means we're going to lose our Tarmogoyf and our black source, which is problematic. Um, if he does end up having like a Molten Rain or Beast Within. But if he has a Beast Within, he may even fire that off at the Bitter Blossom if we just slowed his draw down enough for him to be concerned about it. 
what we're really just hoping for here is that that buys us enough time to get Tarmogoyf down. Because we definitely were not going to be handling what was going on there. We're also getting to a point where Spellsetter Sprite starts to become a hard counter um, to... We're going to have two... Here comes the Molten Rain! Yep. So now he's at four mana. So we could make the effort here to not play a Tarmogoyf, but instead play uh, Spellstutter Sprite to try and protect against a Pia and Kirin. But I'm not so concerned about Pia and Kirin. Unfortunately, we're going to have to play a choice on green or black, and I feel like we're kind of already making our bed with fairies, so we're going to go green-blue here. a mana behind him on our spell stutters. Here comes acidic slime. It's gonna destroy... Bitter Blossom? Yeah, so that actually settles us down a little bit. Uh, land here would be fantastic. No land. No whammy. Fortunately, Acidic Slime is going to shut our Tarmogoyf down. We can counter up to a 3 CMC spell. Well, we just have to cast this because it's going to be our last chance. Well, we do have Stubborn Denial in case he tries to go for any spells that are massive. So... Tarmogoyf is big enough to handle a Inferno... or Inferno Titan. Chandra, hey, that's a pretty cool spell. Nope. pinched here. Look at that. Achievement unlocked. Tarmogoyf. 8-9. You don't see that every day. So... The question becomes, do we crack the fetch and traverse for another land, or do we crack the fetch and throw down a death shadow? I 
I guess we'd actually have if we crack a fetch. We can't, actually can't even get a green. I guess we could get a forest. So we could get traverse, but then we have to get another land to play Death Shadow. So it would be better to just specifically, definitively better to, to just go for the Death Shadow. So we're going to go get a Watery Grave here. If we could have hit the Fatal Push on the Acidic Slime, we would have, but all of his creatures are big. Sure. comes it. Here it comes. Platinum <laughs> Imperium. Up, yeah. I don't even think I can do anything to Platinum Imperium. Life total can't change. I definitely do not have anything in my main deck that can handle that. Liliana. If I can get to th three mana against this land destruction deck. Oh. Stone Rain, destroy target land. Probably gonna draw a land too. Yep. Super frustrating. Well, What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? We don't really want any of the fetches, unfortunately. We just gotta hope we fade a, uh, like a Blood Moon or another land destruction spell here. Otherwise, we might be getting to a mill situation, which we are definitely losing. We have a game plan right now. Fortunately, we were in a really strong position. That acid slime. <laughs> sure. You think that scares me? <laughs> it's 
So he knows what he's playing to, and I know what he's playing to. Oh my gosh, we so lucky. And I think we still have a swamp. This could take a while, but it is our only out. He's feeling the heat from it. Nice. Can we do it? Wow. Wow. Oh, that feels so good. That feels so good. Oh man. I want to make, I want to say things that I probably shouldn't say about how that makes me feel. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we knew what we were playing to and we got there. Through double Platinum Empyrean. Unbelievable. Wow. Okay. So. We are definitely going with Maelstrom Pulse. Uh, Liliana of the, the Last Hope is actually a s pretty decent threat. Uh, we definitely want Stubborn Denials. We definitely want Snapcaster Mage. Uh, Abrupt Decay we could consider because of Blood Moon. It is an answer. What do we got in here that we don't like? Double click. Click's going to be difficult. Really, honestly, both Liliana's, any of the Liliana's are going to be difficult. Um, Fulminator Mage is a little less concerning because if we get caught under a Blood Moon, but still we're looking at the same sort of concerns. So a lot of their spells are sorceries, so those are potentially good. Um, Bitter Blossom, again, potentially good. Really helps turn on the Spell Star Sprites. Um, Fatal Pushes, pretty bad. We can cut those. I don't know that there's a whole lot we need to kill that we can't kill with Collective Brutality already. Uh, and in that regard, honestly, those Lilies are a little better than the other Lily. But... I actually almost think we need to pull the Street Wraiths here. Um, it's not so much that we don't want to do damage to ourselves. Lily is one of our only outs to Platinum Imperium, however. Imperion. I think this is what we're going to roll with. I don't see anything else here I want to take out, so let's go. I suppose Architect of Will could potentially come out for a Liliana of the Last Hope, but 
having her as a win condition is scary and, and difficult, so. So red green land destruction is a scary deck to play against. It tends to be, from my experience, a bit inconsistent though. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is pretty good. We'd prefer to have a turn one interaction. Actually, I think we have to send this back. There's just too high of an odd, too high of odds that he has I'm um, sorry. There's just too high of odds that our opponent has um, access to to turn to land destruction, and we have no way of preventing that. This also doesn't prevent that. However, it does give us a decent chance of turning on traverse and has a counter spell. Um, I just am not confident we're going to get a whole lot better. Ah, there we go. So that's really what we're looking for our turn one play. I do like the Tarmogoyf. Would have liked to have had the Tarmogoyf in hand. The hope here is that we're going to be able to fetch, Archi uh, fetch Inquisition, Architects, use Traverse to go get a uh, Actually, in that case, we may end up at that point already beginning a fetch to just feed our, our Death Shadow. Yeah, so Utopia Sprawl. And we're hoping... I think here we have to... Oh gosh, we almost have to take... Well, we're going to go Overgrown Tomb. We're going to really open ourselves up to a blood moon if he has multiple blood moons. So this is kind of mild. Um, gives us some time. Acid Moss is just a destruction spell. He's a couple turns away from a destruction spell. If we can get a threat down on board, we might have a chance to get through this. So if we cycle the Architects of Will, we can play Traverse, go get a fetch, that'll put us to 13, which is just not quite good enough. Um, so I think what we do here, hmm. Either way, we're cycling, right? Right, and then we're playing into a green source to traverse. What would Tarmogoyf be right now? Four, five. We just start jamming shadows. The problem with that is, so if we get a fetch, we can play a fetch next turn, go down to 13. Our shadows still just can't play. 
think we just have to grab a Tarmogoyf here. And then just hope to more naturally get to the shadow. Having the extra land is good. We know we're going to get Monvoilied here. So ideally we're going to have a green source left to get the Traverse. Thinking we're seeing Thrag. Yeah, hi Thrag. Ooh, the Natural Shadow. Um, so now we actually are just going to go get a Fetch and Shock into Double Shadow. We can get a watery grave. So technically it doesn't really, no, it probably potentially matters towards getting some other fetch later. And this blue green leaves us open for spell stutter sprites. So we will be aggressively playing our spell stutter sprites. <laughs> I mean, what do we need here? There's already creatures in the graveyard. What what we do, do we need to get uh, our boy Goyfi to grow? Liliana, that would be great. Fortunately, we're just in this kind of weird position. We can't even really attack into Thrag Tusk because it leaves back a 3-3, three, three, which means our Death Shadows can't do a whole lot of anything. So plan here is just to flash in Spell Stutter Sprite and start chipping in for one until we can hopefully draw another land ahead of some removal. Inferno Titan, Storm Breath Dragon. Uh, we're actually going to let that attack us, I think. We get extra lucky. What do we got coming down here? So if he double blocks here, we can actually get Liliana, um, potentially. Do we have access to basics? Looks like we do. A black 
and a green. So I think we actually just need to fetch these out right now. Assuming we're going to get a double block here. <sighs> do we get do we get one? Spell stutters protecting us. Yeah. All right. So, um, match status. We ended up going 2-0 against Red Green. Land destruction. Gosh, those are hairy. I do not think that is a great deck. Still pretty hairy. Uh, not too bad. 3-2. Um, first time I played the deck in the league. Again, I feel like we were really pretty close to beating Storm. And actually, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I actually had a moment immediately after the storm match that I was just like, you know, I was overly aggressive with my surgical extraction. I should have waited till my opponent proved he didn't have anything he needed to do. What we could have done is surgical extracted when he went to flash back his graveyard and gotten the uh, um, empty the warrens. But at that point, it's a big question of whether or not um, he still might have been able to go off or whatnot. But anywho. Um, that's it for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time I will plan on doing some more Shadow, but I'm going to probably play, um, what do you call it, the the more aggressive Jun Shadow build that I've been playing, the one that I took to a fi through for a 5-0 the first time through, and 3-2 and, uh, that was very close to a 5-0. Um, I'm going to try and play that one back, and I, I'm going to try and get like some... some uh, for anybody who's still listening at this point, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually try and get some um, poll questions going on to get a better feel for what people are interested in, in case anybody cares. Um, you know, are, are you are you watching for specific decks? Uh, do you like that I bounce around between a lot of decks? Um, you know, what, why are you subscribing, sort of thing, so I can try and. Uh, you know, I, I'm certainly going to make sure that I play stuff that I enjoy and, and whatnot, but um, I also enjoy that you guys enjoy this, uh, you guys and gals and, and, and individuals. I'm glad that you all enjoy this, and, and I want to try and make it enjoyable as I can, so long as it's still fun for me. So, anywho, you all have a great night. We'll talk to you later.